All right, so here it is all finished up. And we'll start with the show side scale here. And as you guys can see, I put that cool scallop texture. And what's really cool about this material is that it is a layer of G10 and black, a black rubberized material. Uh, they call this Ultra, Ultra Tex, I think. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can pick some of this up. But it's just, it gives it a cool grippy feeling in hand. So, and it also gives you that cool effect uh, similar to the G10 and carbon fiber material that I usually use. But here it is. I made sure to put some texture around the ring area here. And then I do have both pockets on both sides of the scales for the pocket clip and the pocket clip plate. So there's the scales. And the customer wanted to get rid of the red G10 backspacer. So what I did was I used the G10 carbon fiber mix material on just the backspacer because you can get that really cool... If I can get the camera to pick it up, you can get that cool weave pattern in there in just the right light, which I think looks really, really good. And then made sure to smooth it on all the edges, so that way when you're spinning this on your finger or just have your finger inserted in the ring, it won't cut you up and it'll feel nice and comfortable. So that's the backspacer. And then I, I gave the, the liners a nice fresh stone wash just to get some more stone wash onto the uh, exposed edge on the outer edge. So I just did that. And that's pretty much it. I didn't do anything else. So let's put this in together and see what it looks like. All right, so here is the knife all assembled. And I gotta say, it looks really, really stealthy uh, ever since we got rid of that red backspacer. But it blends in a lot better with the black custom scales. Here is the pocket clip side. And from my understanding, Karambits, if you're right-handed, you want the pocket clip on the left-hand carry since it's inserted in the pocket and you want that wave feature to work, so. That is why this is set up this way. I'm assuming the customer is right-handed, but he can just easily swap this plate out with the pocket clip. But action is very smooth since it is riding on bronze washers and nylon washers, but just a really cool Tonto blade with this XHP steel. As you can see there, etched and stone washed, which is a finish I really love on a blade. Just really cool that the way feature is included in the blade itself since it's not an add-on but there it is I'll show you guys both sides and I gotta say this this material is really cool because like I said before it's it feels grippy but it's not that annoying grippy like you get on some gun grips if you guys know what I'm talking about but it's just got it just has a nice smooth grippy feel to it and I'm, I'm not gonna attempt to spin this on my pinky since uh, that is not the way you use a karambit, but you can do that. And the way feature does work in pocket. And like I said, it's a very smooth, it's a very tight smooth, if that makes any sense. But this is a really solid knife overall. I believe uh, Spartan blades are USA made, so that's pretty cool. And I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check out the website and pick one of these up if you guys are interested. But there is the Spartan blades Ronin. Please let me know what you guys think of how this thing turned out. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.